Then we're going to be taking a look at V0, Lovable, and Bolt, which are three AI tools that you can use to generate working websites. And in order to compare them, we're going to be generating a landing page for this application. This is a note taking app that I created in a previous video. And this is what the landing page currently looks like. And what we're going to do is just ask ChatGPT for an MVP description for a note taking app for developers. So describe a note taking app or web app made specifically for developers, which features pain points does it address? So it answered with a core concept, key features, including markdown, snippets library, GitLab and GitLab, integration, tagging, search, templating system. That's a lot of features. It's fine. So let's go ahead and ask for a prompt that we can use based on this response. So write a prompt based on your answer to be used to create a landing page using AI. Now, the funny thing is that in the video that I created the web app, I did not use AI at all. It was all just me and checking out the documentation. And here I'm doing the exact opposite. So I'm really eager to see the results here. So let's just copy this middle part, which is the prompt itself. And let's go back to this page and let's just give the same prompt everywhere. So all of them are right now generating the code for us. And let's just check out which one is going to have the same result. So V0 seems to be already done generating the web page, but I'm actually not seeing anything other than the title. And there's also this button here that I cannot click. Maybe I should make the website bigger. No, it's still the same. Let's take a look at the code. And here there is only a title and a theme toggle, which is this button over here. And I'm not seeing anything else, which is a bit concerning because it's also saying that they have key components, including these features that I wrote in the prompt, but it's just not there at all. I don't know what's the problem here, but it's definitely hallucinating. So it seems like Lovable is done generating. Let's maximize this for a while. Oh, okay. This is looking way better than an empty screen, which we had from V0. And I gotta admit, this is looking not bad at all. I think here is supposed to be a picture. That's amazing. I am really liking this website design. It also has like a gradient here in the background and really has this developer vibe to it. So we also have a navigation here to each section and also has documentation start for free. I'm really liking this. What if we take a look at the code? Okay, so if I click here, I can actually see the code. And this is what it looks like. I preview. So I think they have created a component for each section. And I'm really liking this. This is really cool. So I'm actually happy that I made this video. So I got to discover how good Lovable is. Now let's go back to the other one, Bolt, and see what we have. We also have a fully working website. Let's reload this for a moment. Okay, so I think it's supposed to have some kind of writing effect here. There's a cursor, markdown plus code, perfect together. <laughs> Built by developers for developers. This is really nice. This is also giving a dev vibe to it. I find this design a bit more modern than lovable. So this is a really cool component that we have here as well. It's not really working, I think, but it's a good starting point. There's also a pricing section and a footer. It's funny how it also called it dev notes, which was the same name that V0 proposed. I like this style here. It's actually a good logo. I gotta admit, <laughs> it's really nice. I don't know if this name is taken or not. So here we have this sign up button, which is cool. I also wanted to have a call to action button on the top right. Let's see if this navigation also works. It's also working. I'm actually really liking the structure of this website and also how it looks like visually.
let's take a look at the code. So the code interface is also good. It looks more like an editor. And it's definitely easier to check out this way because it looks exactly like Visual Studio Code. And this is also pretty readable. There's a navigation bar, a hero section, a footer. And it's all using Tailwind. I'm not sure if it's using uh, Shatsian, which is what we're using in the application, but it's definitely looking great. I also like that they have used multiple components, one for each section, and they also split between the data and the UI. So I can easily just adjust the testimonials here. And this is going to be reflected in the UI. I'm really liking this one. I'm not sure about this picture. Maybe I'm going to use another picture. But I think I'm probably just going to go ahead and work with this one. And I also just noticed that this build for developers actually changes to engineers and coders the typing effect is not fully working but i like it as a starting point so before we give a final decision let's go v0 another chance can you fix the code the website is empty okay this is already starting to look better so it's actually filling the web page i'm reading here there's some links so it must be the top bar Okay, so it's actually generating everything inside the same component. So let's just wait a little bit and see how it looks like. So it's done generating the code. I'm actually starting to lose hope here because there is a new error pop in here. And to be honest, I'm also a bit surprised here because I've used V0 multiple times in production to just generate small components or get inspired by the design. And it was really successful at doing that. So I don't know what's happening today. Let's go ahead and try to fix it with V0. And let's see if this somehow fixes this problem. Okay, so we finally have a working website from V0. Let's check out how it looks like. This is not bad at all. So this is very similar to what we had in, I think, Lovable, if I'm not mistaken. It's also saying loved by developers. We have some quotes here and also a pricing page. I'm actually really liking this design here. I think this is also using uh, Shatsi and UI, and that's why it's gonna suit very good in the application that I'm building. I actually did not check out if the other applications are also mobile friendly, but let's just see how this one behaves. This is not bad at all. So what do you guys think? Which one was better? For me personally, I really liked V0. The design really goes hand in hand with the application that I already built. And the reason behind that is that it's using Shatsi N. If I didn't use Shatsi N, then I would probably go with Bolt just because it has a really modern looking website. Overall, it was a really good success. And to be honest, trying to build something like this by hand would take me hours. So I'm really happy that I did that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.